A Brief History of Pinto Art Museum Pinto Art Museum is an exhibition space and contemporary museum located in the Philippines' historic pilgrimage city of Antipolo outside of Manila. The museum was founded in 2010 to publicly exhibit the art of collection of Filipino neurologist and patron of arts Dr. Joven Quanang. The museum Pinto means door in Filipino was founded on the principle that art plays a diplomatic role in bridging distinctive nationalities, worldviews, and communities. Dr. Kwanang began collecting in the spirit of local artistic patronage in the late 1980s when he championed a revolutionary Filipino artist collective, the Saling Pusa. Through dedicated connoisseurship and acquisition, the political movements associated with the People Power Revolution in 1986 and the fall of the Marcos regime ushered an era of creative expression and artistic exploration. Dr. Kwanang became a proponent for other practicing artists in the region and earned a reputation as a patron in the Filipino artistic community. The museum collection includes works by artists Elmer Borlongan, Mark Justiniani, Jose Jan Santos III, Emmanuel Garibay, Rodel Tapaya, Geraldine Javier, Marina Cruz, Joy Maillari, and Antonio Leano, among others whose overs composed and veritable record of the evolving contemporary culture milieu. The collection and its context. The aesthetic traditions represented in the collection trace their roots to the history of Spanish colonial occupation and reference the tenets of academic and religious arts, yet demonstrate a markedly different stylistic and technical trajectory following the proliferation of modernism in the mid-20th century. Artworks in the Foundation's collection reflect personal investigations of modernist movements such as Surrealism, Expressionism, Minimalism, Social Realism, and Conceptual Art. The works are, however, distinguished by an innately Filipino adherence to cultural identity and national history. Hello by Nona Garcia The medium is X-ray, light box, and altar table. The size is 130 cm by 120 cm by 45 cm. Nona Garcia is a contemporary Filipino artist known for her meticulous attention to detail and her use of unconventional materials. The artwork Hallow by Nona Garcia, as I understand it, it is about the divine figurines believed to possess power and the ability to perform miracles. However, it is depicted through an x-ray suggesting that it is merely an inanimate object without life. Like rats, it returns to its form by Cos Sicarelli, a sculpture that exhibits a model of the main building of the University of Santo Tomas. The model represents an institution that is the oldest and only pontifical university in our country. This is the alma mater of the artist whose work this is. Yet, the model which in itself looks unkempt and horrendous, it's filled with a horde of plastic toy rats that overrun the whole structure like a flood. There are numerous speculations and mystery about what the artist intends to portray with his artwork. Such as, is the artist out to take his post-academic rage and frustration against his alma mater? We may not be sure to the reasons for this work, but the sure thing is the, eff the effect of the piece is no less striking that is curiously appalling. For a country whose culture is dominated and oppressed for 300 years by the Spanish colonization by its Catholic heritage, the work provokes a sigh of cathartic, even if virtual, relief. 
mahirap pa sa daga by Aldor Anchines. The artwork depicts a child who lives in the slums. He wears rugged clothes and what seems like a self-constructed drum made from recycled can hanging around his neck. It also shows the world renowned Mickey Mouse standing beside the child looking at him as he beats his drum. We can also see at the top of the child's head is the Grand Castle Centerpiece which is the logo of the Walt Disney. The elements of the art are intriguing. From the color scheme used, it indicates an apocalyptical type of setting, a feeling of sadness and emptiness including the distinction of brush strokes to some subtle components such as the Mickey Mouse's on the background. What caught my attention the most was the inspiring coat underneath the painting. I feel that the artwork sends a powerful message through the coat. That life is difficult, life is unfair, but as long as you believe in yourself, you never lose hope. Everything will eventually work out and you will achieve your dreams. In the sculpture Vessel of the Universe or Sisidla ng Kalawakan, art is featuring this in a human form. It ranges from mindful observation to abstract representations of this kind of subject matter. Each of its metal rod is bent to shape and welded together to capture its fragile fibers of the flesh. The sculpture stands as a realization that everyone's life force is coming from a universal source, only encapsulated in flesh that will soon perish. It also describes not only when we are in a darkened rooms on our life, always expect that there are shining light in our own inner life. Carnival, Artist Saling Pusa Collective, year 1992. The medium is Oil on Canvas. The artwork Carnival created by the Saling Pusa Collective in 1992 is an intriguing piece that invites exploration and interpretation. The term Carnival is derived from the word Filipino word Carnival, which traditionally refers to festive and li lively events. Thematically, Carnival could address border social or cultural issues within the context of a carnival. The carnival setting often serves as a metaphor for the complexities of life where joy and frivolity coexist with social commentary and criticism. The artwork may incorporate symbolic elements or imagery that reflects the collective's perspective and social structures, power, dynamics, or individual experiences. So, so guys, that's, that's all for today's video. So this will be the end of our episode vlog. Thank you for joining us for today's journey. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye.